Hello everyone, this is Sunday Collector here with another action figure review and here we have the Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Prowler. I do have the Prowler from the uh, Marvel Legends um, Build-A-Figure build Lizard, uh, so we'll do a comparison with them. They're pr really different uh, from each other, uh, but besides that, let's go over your box here. So we get that logo of the Into the Spider-Verse there, and you get the Marvel's Prowler. You get the Marvel Legends logo on top of there. You get the spray painted spider symbol there. Uh, then you get the picture of the comic, I meant this Spider Verse Prowler there with that spray painted spider. Same thing on the other side. Here's the back of the picture of Prowler there. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's all the figures in a wave with Miles Morales, uh, Spider Gwen, Peter B. Parker. Prowler that we're going over, and then uh, the Hand Ninja, and then Frogman, which builds Stiltman. Uh, and then here's the bottom with the U UPC. Says that, let's crack him open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So first let's go over the accessories that we came with. So we get Stiltman's um, right arm. Uh, we'll go over that one once we build a figure. And then we get Stiltman's extra hand for his ar uh, arm there. And then we get a suitcase for Stiltman. We'll go over that too. Um, but besides that, he doesn't come with accessories for himself. So here he is up close. So, oh, that's not good. I just popped his arm off. I was just trying to put it down, but uh, it popped off. But uh, yeah, so here's his head right here up close. I like the look of the head sculpt here. It looks just like uh, the one from the movie. I like the fact that you can't. he doesn't have like a chin, like a mask would. So that's good, and you get some wrinkles, or sculpted wrinkles in there. And I like the eyes for him there, the black looking outline for that, and then that white eyes. I like the cape a lot with the inside purple, and the outside with like a navy blue look, and then like the spiky collar out top there, so that's cool. And then you get his prowler symbol, uh, the purple prowler symbol on his chest, and you get that like little Spider-Man-y kind of design there where it leaves like the at, like the sides out blue but then the inner part like red or something like that and then you guys gauntlets here which i like a lot that's one of the highlights of this figure i think i like the purple uh, the pink highlight for it and then the gunmetal gray that you use for the metal parts for it and the bolts so that's cool and then he's get you get his hands here with the little gunmetal uh, guards there on his forearm. You get the gold bolts on his knuckles, and then you get his like claws. I wish they came with extra hands for his like claw hands or something like that. That would be a lot cool, really cool. And then um, yeah, he gets his like little belt here with some pouches on the sides here. Mm, nothing on the back really. And then you get the gray buckle, and then that design just keeps going down throughout the legs. It looks a little baggy pants. Uh, I love these shoes. You get the like um, neon pink on the shoes here, like on the ankle part, and then around the thread it treads here. Um, and then yeah, you get that sculpted and spiky treads. I like the sculpt of these shoes a lot. You get the gummel gray for the laces there. So those are pretty cool. Um, besides that, let's go over his articulation. So, and his arm just popped off again. All right. So his head uh, can move up I and mean, down that far, up that far. He can look left and right. Uh, not any head bathing. His shoulders can move uh, out that far, down that far. It doesn't move down a whole lot. And like I've said, this one wants to just pop out for some reason. He can do 360 rotation around there. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and they have the pinless joints to just putting out there and then his ankle uh, his wrists i mean can hinge side to side not up and down like usual and then 360 rotation around there he has an app crunch so you can go forward uh just that much not any really and you can go backwards quite a bit you can do 360 rotation around this waist here his leg can kick out that far forward quite a bit backwards a little uh, he has a thigh cut 
double jointed knees, pinless joints too there. Um, he has a shin cut, his ankle scans down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here's into the Spider-Verse Prowler next to the uh, Lizard Build-A-Figure Prowler that we got in a while ago. Um, so yeah, you could definitely see the difference. The gauntlets aren't so detailed. There's This is basically just a comic look. Uh, and it's more green. This one's just all purple or blue. So yeah, this one's more more modern. I like that a lot more. I like the gauntlets too on that. Whereas this one's just pretty loose plastic purple gauntlets. And then also in the ankles there. So yeah, um, but yeah, different, really different figures here. So yeah, really cool figure. I like this one a lot more. I just wish I had more of a Ford app crunch because in the movie he's more like crawling around trying to att attack right away, uh, lunging towards people. So yeah, uh, but besides that, I, I like this figure a lot. I like the details, especially the gauntlets too and the shoes. So those are my two favorite parts about this figure and the mask too. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got.